it's hard to see in here, but guys, it is early. We're going fishing. I haven't put out some fishing content in a while. If everything works out today, this could be a pretty special day, and then uh, we'll just have to explain like further on as we go. I want you guys to meet somebody, and um, yeah, he's about 14 minutes away. So with that being said, let's hit the road. All right, y'all, so we just made out here to the pond. State your name and tell me a little bit about this place. Hey, what's up, y'all? My name's Steven. Uh, this is just a little honey hole that I've been going to for a little while. Um, this pre-spawn this year was phenomenal. There are a considerable amount of bass in here, larger than normal for such a small area. Um, tell they, them what you caught. <laughs> like, what's... Largest fish, right at around 14 pounds. What did he just say? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Yeah, 14 pounds and probably 40 bass over six to eight, somewhere in that area. Like to have a population like that. And a bunch, a bunch of lines popped. Yeah, all right, so bringing up lines popped, that's why I wanted just to come on here <laughs> real quick. You're always catching these, well, you, you have an issue with these fish and you're not yeah. a big bait caster guy. Right. So I had to make a decision to help you out. Stay here. <laughs> Got this for you. This is a new lunker hut. These oh, rods yeah. are bad to the bone, man. You spooled up with 20 pound power pro yeah and uh it's a it's a that's a pretty stiff rod dude so these 14 pounders aren't gonna aren't gonna break your line anymore see this shit oh it's on now and we're not done <laughs> thank you we're not done <laughs> we're not gonna deal with that no more so you got you a brand new box man oh shit here right, so i'll open it for you this thing is slap down loaded you gotta have a place like this man you don't want to have to be shoving stuff in your pocket the one you got a brand new knife. That's, that's, right. that's pretty. Right. That's, that's a good knife, man. Kershaw. Those are like the. That's what I carry. Those are. And that's a, you can flick it. Man, that's pretty badass. Just got something else now. And then yeah, dude, you're you're completely loaded to the top, sides, all line. You're ready to rock oh, and roll. Man, thank you. Of course, man. Thank you, bud. I appreciate. Of course. It. Yeah. This, I, this uh, guy right here. Thanks, man. Oh yeah, dude. It, of course. He brought me out here, and this is this is one of his secret spots, and uh. I'm, I'm grateful to be out here, so I just wanted to make sure that you're all situated. <laughs> it's the wife. <laughs> it's the wife. <laughs> so we're gonna go th through some of his stuff. Uh, it, like I said, guys, it's early. It's perfect. This pond looks freaking amazing. We'll talk a little bit more on the GoPro about this place, but let's uh, let's take a deep breath. Let's get our stuff ready and let's hit the walk. Cannot beat this view right here. Size of the pond's pretty good. We have a lot of this grass. These fish, honestly, this time of the year. They'll come up and tuck up in this stuff because they're trying to put on their winter weight right now. Coming down this path, I mean, just just long, like two mile road. I mean, like you just you can't beat this type of scenery. We we're, we're in a honey hole right now. Hurt my buddy said he's caught some pretty massive fish out of here. But we're not going to keep the, those stakes. Like we're going to need to catch one of those. That'd be great if we could. But it's fishing for. I'm just glad to be out here. And if these fish are wanting to eat, we're going to put them on the bank. So. Uh, we're gonna get like another minute or so and we're gonna hit the water. All right, y'all, I'm making a first cast down the bank. Dude, this is a pretty spot, man. This is, this is where it's at. I got on a crankbait. We're just gonna move a little bit faster, see what's active. Don't pick anything up. Probably in the next 20 minutes, we'll slow it down, but we're seeing some action. About a 14 out of here. What does that even look like? First met you, we had our PB talks. And normally when I say 11-2, man, no one like, that's a, that's a big fish. Y'all hear that? 15-9. Pond in Georgia. Here's one. Oh, I just had one. He nipped at it. Pull about this bait. It's a 50X, but it's silent. So in the morning, these fish, they're, they're kind of kind of a little bit weird, especially this time of the year. So I'm throwing this to still have the vibration, but the noise clicking down there might throw them off. So that's why I picked this bait out. I think it's going to produce something at least. There he is. That's a decent fish. Get up here. That's how you know they want it when they're eating it freaking sideways. She tried to go head first, just couldn't fit in her mouth. It's a good fish though, dude. Just to, just to catch this first one already being almost two pounds, that's that's pretty damn good. We're good though. Not, not, probably about a pound. I said almost two, but that's, that's a quality fish right there. Let's get her back. See you later. <laughs> you son of a That's what I get for talking. We're out the water for a little bit too long. The water's cold. <laughs> Yeah, that fish bumped me once. I put it back in the same spot, and there she was again. Got some healthy grass in it. It's a little tall right here. We will make it work. Crap the shit out of it, man. Good size one, too. Damn. All right, we just, we had the first big one get away. Got him. Biggin', dude. 
That's a good one. He came off. What do you think that was? Like a five, six? At least. Dude, no. I saw him too. Bit into him good too. How the hell did that get off? I don't know. It probably just clipped his lip or something, man. How'd that rod feel though when you leaned into him? Good. good. Waiting to see a big deer walking through these fields out here. There's so many of them. I worked uh, maybe 40 yards of, of this bank and we only had that one fish, which really makes me think that we had one that was hungry wanting to move, but uh, nothing else. So I'm going to go back to the truck and go ahead and grab what something different i might even throw a senko or possibly like a swim bait try to move in a different way but try to slow it down a lot more and i, th I think we're going to get some reactions so let's go tie on all right we made the change got the old weighted swim bait on now like i said i just want to try to cover water still fast i feel like these fish will hit it but i want to have a slower like presentation for the tail and i'm um, something that just looks like a fish so they're a little bit more interested i think we can get a fish to whack this a couple times Here's one right here. Got him. Got him. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Stay down. Coming at me hot. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, don't you come off. She choked it. Get up here. Yeah, I got a good one. That's what I'm talking about. A fat old football. On the hatch, this fish is freezing. I don't even have a big mouth. Just a, just a healthy fish. And cameras all the way down here. All right, y'all, that is the second fish of the day for me. Just an absolute stud. I'm gonna guess like four and a half, five pounds. Her mouth isn't even that big. It's just a super, super healthy fish. Whack that swim bait. There's actually like, a, I got bit, I felt my line jump but could never get tight because she was swimming towards me. It's a beautiful fish though. It's probably about the same size you lost, man. I think yours is a little yeah. bit bigger though. But just an absolute stud, man. We're gonna grab some pictures. We're gonna get her back. All right, you were a good fight. Let's go ahead and get her back. There she goes. We had our fun here. We caught some pretty good fish. We lost that pretty big one in the beginning, but we made up for the little five pounder that we got. And uh, yeah, one other little small one, but gave it all we had. We're heading to a new pond. You're just taking me to all the honey holes today. We got a new pond he's gonna take me to. And uh, let's go see what she's got. All right, we're at the new spot. It's kind of like tucked in the woods. This water is like, kind of looks like Florida water. It's black and it kind of reflects a little orange. I'm just head over there and jump down here. That's not a bank. Nice little backwater pond though. Call it that bad log. I just saw something kind of wake back over there. Seems fairly deep. Oh, there's a bite. Got him. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna ramp you over some leaves. Oh, he's on. There we go. And she's up. And resist the old swim bait. A little dinker will take him. See you later, buddy. Came off that log over there. Whacked it hard. I thought it was much bigger than that. Nice open spot over there by the dam. We're gonna jump spots and see if we can get something over there. We're passing and we're coming up to the dam right here. It looks, I mean, like when I was casting over there on that side, it, it was around seven foot and that was the shallow end. So I'm, I'm pretty curious to see what this dam's gonna offer for. Some big ones living here too. So let's hope we can find them. I was wrong the damn side. This place looks deep enough. I might have been throwing the old, the old lipless crankbait on. Is that a fish? It is a fish. Dude, it hit the water and I have one on. I can't tell yet. But the way it hit, I think so. He's not bad. Dude, it's a crappy. Oh my god. Dude. What did I just catch? It's a, dude, did you see this? Bro, I thought it was a freaking bass. I can't believe that. This is a, it's about a 12, probably 11 inch crappy, but dude, that's a freaking stud, man. I am jacked. I love, I love catching these fish. It's honestly one of my favorite fish to catch. I thought it was a bass that hit weird, just hit the water. I, I saw my line going. If there's one, there's bound to be more, so. Might have to let this crankbait on now and see if we can get into a couple more of these, but uh, let's go ahead and get the release. Big old crappy. See ya, buddy. Put it in the same exact spot. I just caught that one. Yeah, it was that cast right there, and I just saw my line jumping way faster than it would be sinking. Yep, there was the old crappy. You ever caught crappy out of here? Never. Never? 
huh i want to bring the big camera out but the battery for some reason just started dying super super quick i haven't even used it much today just rolling with the gopro we'll make it work i know i love my old sixth sense but you can just not beat the old dry king and lipless crankbait it's one of the best ones i think that was ever made and just because of the rattle it's just the shape of this bait it just it, it cuts through water so good flutters perfectly a lot of videos on my channel catching a lot of big fish on this bait and for the books that's for sure There's one. Come here. Come here. Either a small bass or another crappy. It'd be a little bass. Get up here. Couldn't resist it. Little bugger. I don't blame you. It's a good looking bait. See you, little bastard. Got a little bit of rain coming down. Oh, I just had him pull it off what this bait does it's not really made to just swim most of the big fish that are going to hit it are just fish in general once you bomb a long cast i'm not going to bore y'all with facts but if you want to catch a lot of fish in this time of the year this is what you need to do as soon as you cast it out you start cranking it and you pull it and you let it flutter back down and you start going again and that's when these fish they just they can't resist it it looks like it's just a dying little bait fish and they hop on it really really quick there he is Come here, little buddy, little bass. He's tiny, dude. It's a baby. The fish we're after can eat you. Thank you, buddy. Gotta be a decent one out there with them. There's one. Oh my God, dude, no. Did you see that? That was a big one. No, no, no. I thought I was on a freaking log, man, instead of turning left. That was freaking her. I seriously thought I was hung on a log. I mean, that was the most, that was the most solid, freaking bite i've had in a long time where it was just it stopped me when in doubt throw a cinco on drag it on the bottom and hope something big bites it Can't go wrong black and blue there's a fish right here come here come here he's not bad by this stump this log over here Oh, he's better, biggest one out of all bass today. Get up here, out of this pond. Little fish, let's get him back. See you, buddy. Like I said in this video, I don't know what was going on with this camera, but like, it on bad battery, just it wasn't holding a charge that day. So I actually never got to finish filming this video on the outro, but uh, guys, Steven, what an amazing guy. An honor being able to go to a new place, especially how long I've been fishing for. There's not many places around my area that I haven't like tried to attempt to fish and uh, Guys, fishing spots, get they get fished out. People got in there that weren't supposed to, and uh, he actually ran into someone who's taken like tons of those big fish out, and they, they put them in a bucket, and then they took them away, and we weren't able to catch them anymore. So it just kind of sucks that that's what happens to Pond. There still is a lot of big fish in there, and, we, and I know he's going to want to go back out and hopefully get some more on film. So, so if you guys want to see that, leave in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed having him on the channel. He's got a lot of spots like that that we could probably go hit, so if you guys enjoy the fishing content, you know, do leave in the comments down below. We actually missed a lot of big fish in this video uh, we only got to put one on the bank that was that was a decent size but like i said just to go out there and fish a new spot it, it makes it all worth it super excited steven now has a brand new fishing pole good line a full tackle box i mean guys i loaded that thing up for him there, there was probably over over 200 dollars worth of tackle in there i mean i wanted him to have everything he needed with or without me to go to a pond and not have to worry about you know, losing a big fish on the bank or something snapping so i'm glad he's taken care of let me know if you like the fishing content you want more i try to change it up and i'm always trying to put something out with the outdoors and i'm um, you, you know your boy loves doing it so i appreciate you guys watching until next time Lynn bass tv